Today's New Testament reading is the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 25th chapter. Jesus said, For it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also who had the two talents came forward, saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant! You knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the word of the Lord. For today's meditation on God's Word, we welcome Pastor Bert Mueller. Grace, mercy, and peace are for you today from God your Father and from your dear Savior Jesus. Amen. Enter into the joy, the comfort, the peace of your Lord, your Master. What a marvelous sentence. The joy comfort and peace that we will experience with our masters far and above anything we have ever experienced here on earth. That joy will have no end. That peace will be without frustration, pain, death, or sorrow. Bringing you to this comfort is the goal of everything our master accomplished for you here on earth. And this peace is also the goal of our lives as we wait for our gracious Lord and master to return. In the meantime, he has given us gifts. You might even call them talents. These gifts are all from his storehouse. He, being a good and faithful master, gave each of us gifts according to our various abilities. But the main idea is that he gave us these gifts, these talents, purely out of grace and mercy. He didn't have to do it. A talent in the ancient world is a huge amount of money. We're talking about years of pay here. But he expressed his gracious will in that we receive these marvelous gifts. What might these be today? I don't know about the talents he's given to you. To some he gives the gift of being a husband. To others the gift of being a wife. To some he gives the gift of motherhood. To others the gift of fatherhood. To all of us he gives the gift of being children of parents. These are the gifts he gives in our families, and these are truly very important. But he doesn't stop there. He also gives other callings in life, 
and gives us the ability to love and serve our neighbor through them. See how highly he values these gifts that he gives to us. They are worth more than money or fame or power. But the most important among these gifts that come from our Master is the gift of faith. This faith is faith in the Master's goodness and loving kindness. Without this faith, it is impossible to please our Master. With this gift of faith, He is pleased already. This gift of faith causes us to grow in all our other gifts as well. Love flows from faith and trust in Jesus. Our talents blossom and flourish, gaining much more all through that faith. It's all about how good and gracious our Master is. That's what makes what our fellow servant says about our Master so very horrible. He calls our Master a hard man, reaping where he did not sow and gathering where he scattered no seed. He calls him unfair. He calls him a tyrant. Instead of using the talent that he was given, he went and hid it in the ground. This precious gift that the Master desired him to use was squandered because of his unbelief. You should have heard what the Master said to him. It made us all a bit uneasy, but it was all true. He is completely just and fair. The kind of Master this wicked servant thought our Master was is the same kind of Master he received, a hard man. This faithless servant was cast into the outer darkness where there is weeping and grinding of teeth. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be like this fellow servant. I fear that I am like him in my flesh. I don't always trust that the Master has given me all that I need to love and serve my neighbor. I don't always trust that my Master's gifts are the most important gifts. I run after all that glitters, even though it is not gold. I'm sure you know the temptation as well. But our Master is not a hard man, at least not in the way the wicked servant fought. He is the very one who purchased us to be his servants. He did this by going away on his journey, his journey to the cross. He did this by suffering for our sins. He died for all the ways we go after sin and doubt his goodness and faithfulness. He purchased and won us from all these sins, from our death and from the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy precious blood and with his innocent suffering and death. If he could be called a hard man, a man with face set like flint to do some great work, it would be in these things, his steadfastness, his faithfulness, his service to his servants through his suffering and death and resurrection. He, was, he has purchased us through all of that. Now we are his, and we serve him in his kingdom, doing the works that he has given us to do. These works are not done to make us his, or to purchase our release from sin, death, and the devil. No, that has been done already. These works are simply done out of love for who the Master is and what he has done for us. They are simply done for the simple fact that our Master desires that we love and serve one another. He will come again one day to us, to whom he has given the gift of faith. He will say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into that joy, that comfort, that peace of your Master. It is all by his grace that we enter that joy. You have been faithful over a little, I will set you over much. That shows us how gracious and awesome this gift is. If a gift of a million dollars is a little, what are we going to receive when he returns? It's the gift of the Lord that we are faithful over what little he gives us here. It is also the gift of the Lord that we receive the much that he has in store for us. It's all by grace through faith in our Master Jesus, not by our works or merits that we receive this commendation. Amen.